Okay. So. Put it up. Welcome back for an update on Rico's Nano Tank Challenge 2018. So today we're just drilling a pilot hole for a bulkhead, inch and an eighth hole. We're gonna put in an RFG nozzle, Miracle Mud, sand, and fill it with water. So this bulkhead, it's pretty easy to drill. I probably should have did it ahead of time, but I waited till after, not a big deal. It just goes right through there. Popped in the bulkhead. Next thing I wanted to connect the pump and the pump's half inch and the barb fitting's a half inch, the tube wouldn't fit. So I had to heat the tube up. I used Billy Pipe's little secret, heat it up with hot water, and then that fit right over the barb perfectly. Look at that, just pushes right on there, nice and tight. The pump head's the easy part. That's just a slip fit, slides right on there. I was able to mount the whole pump and everything in there. Pretty easy. You know, I, I might have to adjust the pump based on how the nano bubbler or the, the wood air stone's working. So another pop package, what do we get today? What do we have in here? Some very expensive sand, I'll tell you that much. We're going to be adding Miracle Mud to the Nano Tank. Um, this is the refugium section here. I want about an inch of it. What I'm going to try to do, because I know it's, it's very silty, there's a lot of stuff that comes out of it. The last time I used it, it had a lot of funk. Some people do wash it out. I don't know whether to wash it out or not. I'm not going to. I'm going to try, I'm going to try to use a strainer and put all that silt on the bottom and then the coarser substrate from this Miracle Mud on top. That's what I'm gonna try. So, let's get to it, let's try that. See if I got a knife. There's the strainer, handy dandy kitchen strainer. You know, Miracle Mud, it's amazing how expensive this stuff really is. I mean, this is, um, 10 pounds was about $75. I know, right? So let's try to put this in here and let's strain it. So see all the small stuff goes to the bottom. I'm gonna try this a little at a time, I think. Let's see. Honestly, I don't know if that'll work or not. I think I should have tried smaller. Ooh. Okay, that's not gonna work. So, I think I, my strainer should have been smaller. So let's just, uh, let's just dump the air cooler. Said we want about an inch of Miracle Mud on the bottom. Very dusty. So it looks like about a, it's about an inch. What I might try I might try wetting this, soaking it, seeing if I can get it to compact, and then maybe, I don't know. It has a lot of silt in there. If you look, look at all this dust that came out of it. it is what it is. So, I guess that's it. I'm making some water. We'll put some water in here. We've got the return nozzle we'll get put on, the heater. We'll get this thing moving. We'll get water in here. Okay, stick to it. Get to it, whatever. Well, I have to make it official. I've entered the challenge, so I guess it's time to rip this sucker off. Look at that, another package. I got two packages today. The Miracle Mud and some nozzles. Awesome day when you always get packages. Wish it could happen every day. Vivid Creative Aquatics RFG, the random flow generator. There's no moving parts. 
they're using fluid dynamics to create a random flow. It looks like any normal nozzle you put on a lock line fitting, it fits half inch, three quarter inch lock line, and they also have one for a one inch slip fit, which is really cool. Anyway, there's these five veins in there, and somehow using fluid dynamics, they're able to create a random flow, increase the flow in your tank. So they're not much. They gave us a discount for Rico's Nano Challenge. I thought a new tank, I'd give it a shot. This is it. Let's open it up. Let's see what we got. So these nozzles are 3D printed, and you can really see the grain on there. It's very coarse. My only concern is that, you know, you're giving algae a foothold. You're not, you might not be able just to wipe it off like you would a you know, high volume manufactured piece that has a smooth finish. So we'll see how this it lasts. But for the most part, it fits on the lock line awesome. You know, lock line's normally really tough and this nice light snap and it snaps on there. We've added the Miracle Mud to the tank. We're gonna add some sand. Now the sand, I have from a fish quarantine tank I've been using. I've got sand in there and I also have a rock quarantine tank. So I'm gonna reuse some of this sand for my nano challenge tank. Let's start with that. So this sand, it did come from a tank in the sense that I was medicating this fish in quarantine. It was just a fish I had there with some live rocks, so I opted to use this. You know, I've seen the latest thing is now people actually wash their sand out and use them. I think as long as there's not a lot of detritus in there, it's not too chunky, you know, I'm opting to reuse the sand. I also had a little loose gravel and stuff in there. I think there's, you know, nitrifying bacteria, there's all kinds of stuff on that sand. Why not use it? Right? That's how I look at it. Uh, you know, I also added um, some Fritz bacteria products. I think it's 9-9 to this to give the biological kickstart. And then I just filled it up with uh, salt water. So, hopefully next we'll be adding some live rock. We'll add some livestock. We'll do the light for the refugium. Thanks for tuning in. Joe's Coral Reef. I'll be back with updates on the Nano Tank for Rico's Nano Challenge 2018. Booyah! Miracle Mod Nano Tank, Rico's Nano Tank Challenge 2018.